testing out this Toyota Avalon here. Let's see how. Oh, it's so smooth. It's like there's leather seats. It has like a digital display action going on. It's like smooth. Oh, mercy. It's like a little pothole here. Oh, this looks like it could it could get some speed. Wow, there's a tape player in here. Logic control deck. Wow, that's smooth. Ooh. Ooh, that's so smooth. Me like it. Alright, let me see if I can get lost now. Get lost in the city. Why is there like all this traffic out here? Why, why, why? Wow, I really like it. I likes it. The handling seems crispy. Power steering is like all good. I drove a car for a while with power steering that. Oh boy. <laughs> there was like a break in traffic, and now it's like all these cars coming, and, and Grandma's just chilling. She's just chilling. Not not a rush at all. Am I, am I blocking you? Am I blocking you, man? Thank you very much. Ooh. Ooh, third gear. 40 miles an hour. Three and a half. Four. And that's 60. Okay. Yeah, so in about like, about four seconds. Yeah, it's 60. Nice. Nice. Got some strapping on the road here. Getting kind of hungry. I want to see if this uh, goes through a drive-through properly. You know, you gotta look at the ins and outs of these cars that you test drive. Ooh, is that a fresh time? It is. Kind of want to get some fresh time. Yeah. So the guy, the guy that's uh, trying to sell this car, he's saying what most guys say. He's like, you know, I don't sell junk. Oh no. My funniest guy that like was trying to sell a car was this. He must have been like a Bosnian, Eastern European guy. He's like, this is not junk. I don't know Mickey Mouse jobs over here. This is good car. And then I asked, I, I just want to ask him like if there's anything wrong with the car. I was like, hey, buddy, is there anything else wrong with the car? <laughs> Clicked it on my face. Like he hung up the phone. I was like, all right, well, there you go. The car maybe is a ho -ho Mickey Mouse job, you know? Maybe it's not on the up and up. Maybe it's not clean and friendly, so I, I think I dodged a bullet on that one. First of all, that car was like a 1980s version of a Mercedes. It was a Mercedes, and it was a salvage a car, salvage title or whatever, and it was in an accident. So that was like, yeah, didn't really put me onto it. He got real, real chummy with my grandpa, so my grandpa seemed to be like all into it. But when I checked the car, I was like. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it runs nice, it drives smooth, but for how much longer? You know? See, I'm, I'm already liking this car right now. It's just, one would assume that it would be nice on gas, and it's already three quarters. And, I mean, it's driving smooth. Let's see if this power... I'm not familiar with the JBL sound system, but that's what's installed on this one. And has cream colored leather seats, which is nice, you can just slip in, slip out. Has this little sunroof action going on, so ooh. Ooh. I'm pretty sure by the time I get my money for a different car, this one's gonna be gone. But it was nice while it lasted. I might as well whip this thing whip this thing around and, and go back. But yeah.